The National Emergency Services Museum is an ever-expanding and developing museum and historic site based in the former combined police, fire and ambulance station in Sheffield. The museum has gone through a number of changes over the years since the original Fire Brigade Museum opened in 1931. We have changed more than ever over the last few years from a small collection of fire and police related items run as a hobby by firefighters, police officers and their families and friends into a nationally styled museum and well loved visitor attraction with an outstanding collection dedicated to telling the story of all of our emergency services from around the country. The collection is built on the very foundations of the community, the people's stories, tragedy and care including amazing advances in technology and the equipment, uniforms and vehicles used by the very services we rely on all year round, day and night. Our collection consists of life-saving equipment and vehicles like our Time Class lifeboat to early wicker style water rescue helmets and cork life jackets, all of which tell a personal story as well as the advancements in technology of these vital life-saving institutions. As a self-funded independent charity, we rely on donations, entrance fees and funds raised through our gift shop and coffee shop and the events we host both at the museum and around the United Kingdom. As of all museums and visitor attractions across the country, we had to close our doors due to the current coronavirus pandemic. That means that 100% of our income stopped immediately. This included events such as our yearly family fun day in the city centre of Sheffield and is one of our main fundraising events of the year along with the sheer volume of visitors during the summer holiday season. Our museum is mainly staffed by volunteers who along with a small team of staff devote their time and efforts to keeping the museum and the collection alive for today, tomorrow and the years to come. The summer of 2021 will see the original museum's 90th birthday. Just 12 months away from this celebration we do not want to see the museum close forever. Within the museum we care for some amazing collections that are owned directly by the emergency services themselves. The services do not have the capacity to run dozens of small museums all over the UK and some services do not have the space to house these historical objects and vehicles. So the loss of this museum will see the country's rich history of the emergency services disappear. This includes their techniques that date back to the dawn of time itself with primitive man discovering fire, how to control it and extinguish it. People think the story of our emergency services are only a few hundred years old, but the role of policing, firefighting, medicine and care is thousands of years old. Laws, rules, regulations and designated people enforcing these can be seen clearly through time. Now, more than ever, please do not let the museum that is dedicated to telling the story of the services we love and care for, the people we know will be there in our time of need, just vanish help us to keep their stories going for generations to come. The fantastic family of staff and volunteers we have here at the museum make me extremely proud. I know a lot of people are asking for support right now and whether it's a little or a lot, every penny really does count. It's amazing seeing communities pulling together, clapping and celebrating the vital work of the emergency services. The museum itself is a permanent memorial to these people. To those people working now, the recently retired that have returned to work, the thousands of volunteers that prop up the services, and to those that have given the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives in the line of duty, keeping us safe through world wars, pandemics, or just every day-to-day -day life. We respect them and thank you.